It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. It's time for a Friday fun video. Folks, here's the deal. I figured out why the OEMs are not merging with each other. Because they don't know what to call the new entity when they come together. I mean, they're struggling. Whose name do we get? We like our name better than your name. Or they do what they always do, and they put both names together, and that kind of gets ridiculous. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe if the OEMs, you know, could embrace a new name, well, they might get together, sign the paperwork, and get this consolidation going. So without any further ado, I'm going to share on my Sharp Interactive board the name of the companies that I believe should come together. And I'll tell you why they should come together. So the first ones I want to start out with, with our friends over at HP and Fuji. Let's get them together. The new name for a Fuji HP merge is HP Fusional. Remember a while back I said if Fuji were to come into the marketplace without distribution, that they would be more delusional than HP and HP's A3 aspirations. You all know where that went, right? Nowhere. And so if the two of them coming together, the name of the entity, HP Fusional, just makes sense to me. I know it's kind of a long name. So, you know, emailing these folks could kind of be, you know, cumbersome. But I'm not too sure a whole lot of people would email them anyway, because who wants to buy an A3 when the whole world's going to A4, right? But, you know, delusional aspirations coming together. HP, delusional, great name. Make it happen. Go sign the paperwork. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about our friends over there at Kia Sierra. Kia Sierra has this fantastic cut sheet inkjet production machine. Rico called him up and said, hey, Kia Sierra, we sell an industrial roll-fed inkjet machine, but we don't have the cut sheet machine. And, you know, Rico, they probably sold about 10 of those roll-fed inkjet industrial machines around the world. I don't know how many they sold, but that's not a really big market. But they see this cut sheet production machine. They're thinking, oh, we could sell the crap out of those. So they form an alliance. They form an alliance. They just need to merge together completely. Come on, Rico and Kia Sierra, merge completely. I got the new name for you. Here it is, my friends. It's called Kio Eco. Kio Eco, think about it. Kio Eco sounds tough. Put that name, Kio Eco, on that big giant ink jet production machine. People will buy it. They'll think, man, this thing's tough. Kio Eco. Ladies and gentlemen, the synergies between Kia Sierra and Rico are phenomenal. Kia Sierra gives Rico an A4 line. Rico gives Kara Sierra. A lot of distribution through those Rico dealers. There's just a lot of things they could do together if they got together and did them. We know there has to be consolidation. Why not them too? I like the name Kio Eco. Maybe it'll make them. Maybe it'll make them get to the table. We'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about our friends over at Sharp and Toshiba. This is a great name, Sharshiba. Sharshiba. Think about Sharp. They call up Toshiba conglomerate and they say, "Hey, we want to buy Toshiba Tech." Just take Toshiba Tech, you know, put it in that 8K Ecosystems business unit you have and just go into the marketplace and sell a whole lot of Sharshiba office equipment. I mean, think about it. Sharshiba sounds kind of cool. I think people will call Sharshiba up just so they can say the word. Hey, I need a Sharshiba machine in here. I mean, it sounds, sounds kind of sexy, actually. So, ladies and gentlemen, maybe, maybe Sharp and Toshiba, like the name, they can pick up the phone, call each other, and get consolidated and merge. Who's next, ladies and gentlemen? Let's talk about our friends over at Brother and Lexmark. Okay, we know that Lexmark, Lexmark was, you know, sold off in 2017. They got a private equity group, PAG, in there. You got Nine Star in there. They did that deal in 2016, 2017 sometime. That thing's got to end, right? I mean, sooner or later, that's got to end. They don't want to just have this dual combination ownership forever. They got to do something. There's got to be an end game for the private equity group. Does a private equity group get with brother and say, hey, let's just take out Nine Star and bring it all together and they form one company. I got a great name, Bromark. Bromark, what a great name. Again, it sounds tough. Think about brother. They got the Soho A4. They got a huge marketplace in Soho A4. Huge. Make a great equipment for Soho, right? What, Lexmark? They have fantastic A4 business equipment. If the two of those came together, they're about $8 billion. They could be a real contender. I could have been a contender. Well, you both can be a contender if you just get together, call yourself Bromac, and go disrupt the marketplace. Well, who's next, my friends? Well, let's talk about our friends over at Canon and Kanika Minolta. What a name this is. Kanika. Kanika. I mean, it's a great name. It's kind of short. Sounds fun. Again, it sounds a little tough. Kanika, <laughs> right? Kanika. Well, folks, here's the deal. I saw a video not too long ago. One of the executives of Canon was talking about how 
Direct operations were important to them. I'm sure it was a response to the video I did talking about how they should sell all their direct operations. But we also have our friends over at Conicum and Ulta, you know, they got rid of what, 19 direct operations. And then they said, oh no, direct operations are important to us. So they both feel like direct operations are important to them. So they have a synergy there. But think about the other synergies they have in their, dis in their diversifications. They're both pretty heavy in some medical applications. Folks, you know, Conica and Canon coming together, that's a, that's a possibility. There's a name, Canica, right? And so now you're all asking yourselves, well, Ray, what about, what about Xerox? What about them? Well, folks, I've been telling you this for way too long, I think. The bottom line is Xerox is a dealer. They're the largest dealer in the world. And they'll be able to sell the products of any of the entities that merge. Those entities that merge will call up Xerox and say, will you sell our products? Ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a shift. There's going to be consolidation. And the OEMs have got to get off their butts, kick down the doors of status quo, get rid of all the people that are too damn conservative to run organizations in a declining marketplace pressured by innovation. This is not a time to be conservative. This is a time to be aggressive, to be bold, to do what you got to do to change the game. And we're not going to change the game just sitting around and hoping things all just work out. Because they won't all just work out. We're never going back to the pre-virus world. Print will continue to decline. People will consume more and more information behind glass. Changes have to be made. And the OEMs have got to position themselves to make those changes. Hopefully, my new name changes will help them along. Because ladies and gentlemen, we all know this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and I'll see you all on Monday.